Hello everybody, welcome to my class today. Uh, I was doing form 24 in my last class. Today I will continue in that form. Let us do our first problem today. In the equation root over of tan theta d theta. Here you have to substitute let tan theta equals x square. That will imply x square theta d theta is 2z dz. So your d theta becomes 2z dz by x square theta. That is, that is 1 plus tan square theta. That is 1 plus z to the power 4. So your integral now becomes root over tan theta. That is that is z and d theta is 2z dz by 1 plus z to the power 4. Now dividing both n and d by z square we get 2 by z square plus 1 by z square dz. We have done this in my last class. So, I am writing instead of 2, 1 plus 1 by z square plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 by z square divided by z square plus 1 by z square dz. Okay. Now we have to split it from here. We get integration 1 plus 1 by z square dz by z square plus 1 by z square then plus 1 minus 1 by z square dz by z square plus 1 by z square. Now the numerator can be written as d of z minus 1 by z and here you can write z minus 1 by z whole square plus 2 that is root 2 whole square and here you can write d of z plus 1 by z here z plus 1 by z whole square minus root 2 whole square now they are integrable now you can write here 1 by root 2 tan inverse of z minus 1 by z by root 2 plus here it will be 1 by 2 a that is 1 by 2 root 2 lean of mod of z plus 1 by z minus root 2 z plus 1 by z plus root 2 plus c now we have to substitute z 1 by root 2 tan inverse z was our tan theta no, no, no. Uh, z is root tan theta tan theta is z square z is root tan theta so I am writing in this way z square the first first let me simplify this z square minus 1 by root 2 z then plus 1 by 2 root 2 lean of mod of z square minus root 2 z plus 1 z square plus root 2 z plus 1 plus c. Now you have to substitute z. Z is root 10 theta. So your answer is 
आंसर विल बी वन बाय रूट टू टेन इन वर्स जेड स्क्वायर इज टेन थीटा माइनस वन बाय रूट टू पर टू टेन थीटा एंड देन कास वन बाय टू रूट टू लीन ऑफ मोड ऑफ जेड स्क्वायर इज टेन थीटा माइनस रूट टू बार ऑफ टू टेन थीटा प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय टेन थीटा प्लस रूट टू बार ऑफ टू टेन थीटा प्लस वन प्लस सी दिस इज बी आवर आंसर इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट one of my student senior student now he is working has told me to solve a problem like this integration cube root of tan theta d theta so let me solve this for this let tan theta is z cube then it becomes sec square theta d theta c z square dz d theta will be c z square dz by sec square theta that is 1 plus tan square theta that is 1 plus z to the power 6 So here it becomes this is this is z and d theta is c z square plus c z square by one plus z to the power six d z. Now this becomes three z cube d z by one plus z to the power six. Next, let let z square equal to e two z d z equal d u. So z d z will be half d u. So now. z q is x square into z so z square is u into z d z is half d u half d u 1 plus q q right now this can be written as c by 2 integration u d u 1 plus u 1 minus u plus u square Now I have to do partial fraction here. Let me write the substitution here. Tan theta plus z cube and then z square is zero. Now. U by one plus u one minus u plus u square. I think it will equal to a by one plus u plus b u plus c one minus u plus u square. Now multiplying both sides with the denominator, you get. U is equal equal to a into one minus u plus u square plus b u plus c into one plus u. Now for u goes to minus one, you get minus one is equal to one plus one two plus one three three a. So you get a equals to minus one third. 
x for u equals 0, 0 equals to a plus c. So c will become plus 1 third because minus a is plus 1 third. Next for u equals to 1, you get 1 is equals to a plus 2 into b plus c. 1 is equals to a is minus 1 third plus 2 into b plus 1 third. So, um, 1 plus 1 by 3 that is 4 by 3, 2 into b plus 1 third, 2 by 3, so b is 1 by 3. So, by 3 minus 1 by 3, 1 by 3. So, we get the values of the constants. Now, we here. A is minus 1 by 3. B and C both are 1 by 3. So, I am writing in this way. Okay. Using from here. So these are the parts to calculate the constants. And let this be on integral i. So i becomes i becomes 3 by 2 third bracket uh, imagine this is 3 by 2 integration then third bracket minus 1 by 3 1 plus 1 by u plus 1 by 3 u plus 1 u square minus u plus 1 third bracket plus g now you can write it as minus of integration d of 1 plus c u by 1 plus u and then it is half integration if derivative is uh, if derivative is 2u minus 1 so I am writing here 1 by 4 2u minus 1 plus 3 2u plus 2 ok by u square minus u plus 1 d now I am writing minus half integration d of 1 plus u 1 plus u 1 by 4 integration 2u minus 1 du u square minus u plus 1 plus 3 by 4 du by u square minus u plus 1 then minus of integration d of 1 plus u by 1 plus u plus 1 by 4 integration d of u square minus u plus 1 u square minus u plus 1 3 by 4 u minus half whole square root 3 by 2 whole square d of u minus half totally integrable now I can write the Result here this will be minus of mean of mod of 1 plus u then plus 1 by 4 mean of mod of u square minus u plus 1 then plus 3 by 4 into 1 by a that is 2 by root 3 tan inverse of u minus half by root 3 by 2 plus c now minus half mean of mod of 1 plus what of u u is z square plus 1 by 4 mean of mod of u square u square will be z to the power 4 minus z square plus 1 
then root 3 by 2 and inverse of 2u minus 1, 2u, u is z square minus 1 by root 3 plus c. Then we have to go back from z to tan theta. No, I don't. In this part here, this is a long problem. The final answer will be minus half lean of mod of 1 plus z square. z is cubed of tan theta, so tan theta to the power 2 by 3. Then plus 1 by 4, lean of mod of z to the power 4, that is tan theta to the power 4 by 3 minus tan theta to the power 2 by 3 plus 1, then plus root 3 by 2, tan inverse 2z square, that is 2 tan theta to the power 2 by 3 minus 1 by root 3 plus c. This will be our final answer of the integral cube root of tan theta d theta. It's a good question. Next. <coughs> minus integration 1 plus 1 by z square dz by z square plus 1 by z square and then minus integration 1 minus z square dz by z square plus 1 by z square now, I am writing this as d of z minus 1 by z and here z minus 1 by z whole square plus root 2 whole square then minus this is d of z plus 1 by z here z plus 1 by z whole square minus root 2 square. Now they are integrable. This will be 
minus 1 by root 2 tan inverse of root minus 1 by by root 2 minus 1 by 2 root 2 mean of mod of z plus 1 by z minus root 2 z plus 1 by z plus root 2 plus c then minus 1 by root 2 tan inverse of z square minus 1 by root 2 times z minus 1 by continuous more space starting below minus 1 by 2 root 2 mean of mod of z square minus root 2 z plus 1 z square plus root 2 z plus 1 plus c now I have to substitute z z is root cot theta minus 1 by root 2 tan inverse z square is cot theta minus 1 by root over of 2 cot theta and then minus 1 by 2 root 2 mean of mod of z square is cot theta minus root over of 2 cot theta plus 1 by cot theta plus root over of 2 cot theta plus 1 plus c. Okay. Here root of root over cot theta we left we left as homework for you. Next, let us do integration root over tan theta plus root over cot theta. D theta. root over sin theta by root over cos theta so in the denominator this will be root over of sin theta cos theta and this will be sin theta plus cos theta d theta <coughs> now integrate sin theta plus cos theta we will get minus cos theta plus sin theta. So you you must appear sin theta minus cos theta in the denominator. So that if, if you if you substitute sin theta minus cos theta as z then the numerator will be dz. Okay. So what I am doing I am writing is a root 2 sin theta plus cos theta by under root 1 minus 1 minus 2 sin theta cos theta 1 1 cancel plus 2 sin theta cos theta root 2 root 2 cancel so root 2 sin theta cos theta ok d theta then root 2 this can be thought of as d of sin theta minus cos theta and here it appears 1 square minus sin theta minus cos theta whole square. So this, this is equivalent to dz by root over of s square minus z square. What is its formula? Let me recall integration dz by root over of s s common as s square this is sin inverse of z by a ok so here the result will be root 2 sin inverse of z is sin theta minus cos theta 
A is 1 plus C. This is our answer. Now let us have a short break. After the break, I am coming with more problems. Till then, be there.